Welcome back everybody, N55 Morris with another video. And today we got a DIY of linear resonator with minimal parts and tools. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So to do this mod, we will need a 18 inch three interior diameter resonator pipe. I'll have all the links to everything I use in the description below as always. And that pipe itself be what we'll be using to delete the resonator. Two butt joint claps. In the video I did see, see, which is, I'll make sure to put it on screen, JD Cars, for the inspiration, he used butt joint. And I believe the way this exhaust work, I think lap joint might work better. If not, then we shall still make it work. We need something to cut the factory exhaust. And of course, for us, we're going to use a pipe cutter. Once again, in the video I've watched, they used a Sawzall, but I'm not 100% confident using a Sawzall in the tight space because they had a lift compared to me on jack stands. So that's what we will be doing. Then I have some RTV to seal it up, some gloves, WD-40 for the pipe cutters itself, measuring tape, work light, and a marker for some measuring. So I'll join you guys underneath the car. The resonator I am referring to is located just behind the muffler or back box. So I believe weld to weld is about 16 inches or so, give or take, but I'm going to measure out 17 because our pipe is 18. So that gives us about half an inch of overlap with the pipe. So I'll crawl back underneath from underneath the car, measure it out and show everyone how to use the pipe cutters. Here's a demonstration video of using the pipe cutters. So as we see, they're a bunch of wheels that are pretty sharp. And what you would do before you use this, they do recommend using some sort of lubrication. So WD-40 is a adequate. So what you would do, go around the pipe and you wrap it around until you find the correct notch. Hold it down tight and then you work your way. I believe it's at least 180 degrees. You don't want to crush the pipe if you grab it too hard. You kind of do just want to let the pipe cutter do the work itself. So we'd wrap it around. So it'll be almost like this. Get a good grip and slowly work your way back and forth. Of course, I'm not applying a lot of pressure because I'm not trying to cut this, just demonstration purposes only. And work your way back and forth. And that's how you cut the pipe. So knowing that now, I'll set up and cut the resonator underneath the car. Now, getting the resonator completely out of the car, I want to give a quick test fit. And unfortunately, this does not lap joint the factory exhaust. It did say three inch interior diameter. So I thought it would, but it does not as I mocked it up. But that's not a big deal. So all I will do is almost mock it up like this and make sure I make the correct lines on here. And then I will put the clamp on even though once again, this is a lap, a lap joint and not a butt joint clamp. The small side does fit on this, so it's all right. And I'll put the bigger side on the factory exhaust, as we can see here, just a little quick, a little easier to um, wrestle with it. And then we shall go for there. So I believe I'm just gonna get the same pipe cutters as I saw, the same technique, kind of just hold it between my legs and cut it off that way. And then from there, we should be able to mount this in there. Underneath the car, see our pipe now cut to size. And it fits pretty well inside. Yes, it could have probably been a tighter cut, but it's okay because we do know that these clamps themselves have some length to them, and this will compensate for anything I misjudged or guided. So I'm gonna clean up the edges as it's also not so oily with some brake spur cleaner as well as any metal flakes on this. I already sanded off the edges, and then I'll get to assembling 
this resonator. Now we have the resonator delete pipe prep. You see there's the RTV we have over there and the clamp slid down here, the smaller side and the bigger side facing towards the stock ends. Of course, don't worry about the stuff in the middle. I'll clean it up once I put it on. Our two bolts are 14 to 15 and I have them ready here. As well as underneath the car, we see that I have RTV on the freezing pipe. So once again, it shall help when I slide over these clamps. So I'm gonna set the camera up and you guys can see me place these on. resonator delete on my f30 335i i personally am absolutely in love with this mod i definitely thought that just with the vrsf catted downpipe it didn't bring enough volume to the car yes you could hear just a little bit more but it wasn't enough to know that okay no this is modded plus i like my burbles and they did sound very very muted you kind of have to keep your ear out for it but this way now i got more volume Save some money doing it myself, and the best part is complete reversible on your own. Instead of now, if you don't like it, have to go back to an exhaust shop. So thank you everybody for tuning in, and don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and take care, and see y'all on the next one.